request, Frank. Come on, Dad, focus. Widen your stance a little. Don't slouch. And don't screw up. This is the big leagues. What are you doing? Keep her on the ball. That was pathetic. Sorry. Yeah, well, sorry doesn't cut it. At Heart of America Volleyball, our goal is promoting the safety of the participants. We want to create an environment that is safe, healthy, and positive for all USAV members, their families, and spectators. Let's go over some topics related to the expectations at tournaments and practices that we will make volleyball safer for all participants going through these policies of safe sport. Be an ideal sports parent. Cheer for everyone on the team. We encourage you to applaud and cheer for your junior player and their team members, even when the team is struggling. Model appropriate behavior when spectating. If you, as a parent, project poise, control, and confidence, the athletes like to do the same. What is appropriate to discuss with the coach? Playing time, team strategy, team members other than your child are definitely off limits. Know your role. Everyone at a game is either a player, coach, an official, or a spectator. It is wisely to only choose one of these roles at a time. Do you want to be a better spectator? When players are working hard, they need and deserve everyone's best positive encouragement and support. Athletes already have the difficulty of developing a sense of teamwork while developing their own individual experiences and skills. They do not need your anxiety piled on top of their own if the game is going poorly. Go get that donkey. Hey, hey, you're going the wrong way. Come on. We got slaughtered at musical chairs. We practiced this at home a million times. We are losing. I can't believe I missed Pilates for this. Officiating. While we understand that you are in a competition environment, we ask that all parents keep in mind the officiating tasks are often promoted by junior players. Remember your role, whether arguing with a line judge's call or yelling score at the scorekeeper's table, it is not appropriate in your role as a parent and spectator. If there are officiating issues, let your coaches deal with these issues. If you'd like to learn more about the rules of volleyball, you can go to volleyballreftraining.com. Sitting at sports facilities. When your team is done playing, please vacate the playing area and allow other parents and spectators to watch the next team's play. Please note that this is absolutely not a requirement for spectators to switch sides when the team is switching sides during a match. Confrontations. If you notice a conflict arising at your court, be proactive in keeping the confrontation to a minimum. Please report to the tournament director, club director, event official, or facility management immediately. Food, drink, coolers, chairs, and cleanup. Most facilities do not allow outside food or drink. Please be aware of each facility's policy about bringing in coolers, outside food or drink, cooking equipment, and other items. Pick up your team's area and benches of all trash and bottles. Remember that we are guests at the facilities. Drug, tobacco, and alcohol. USA Volleyball sanctioned events are drug, tobacco, and alcohol free, both inside the facility and outside in the parking lot. Tournament questions. If you have any questions about tournament formats, tiebreakers, etc., please direct those to your coach. Your coach can ask the questions to the tournament director or event staff if he or she does not know the answer. That way, tournament directors do not constantly have to answer the same questions and can focus on their task. This kid's potato sack doesn't look regulation to me. Excuse me? Well, it's got a wider base. I mean, that's totally unfair to my kid, right? I, I want to launch a protest. Well, look, it's, it's two inches higher. Look at those hand grips. It's not regulation. Regulation? <sighs> look, you know what else? I, I want a urine sample from this kid. He looks a little beefy for a five-year-old. Safety. Athletes will perform better, soar higher, and get more out of the sport if they feel safe. Safe Sport seeks to create a healthy, supportive environment for all participants. Through education, resource, and training, 
We help members of the sport community to recognize, reduce, and respond to misconduct in sport. For a free parents course, visit training.teamusa.org. The video takes a little over a half an hour to complete. Travel policy. Athletes are most vulnerable to misconduct during travel, particularly overnight stays. During travel, athletes are often away from their families and support networks, and the settings are less structured and less familiar. Check with your club about their travel policy. Social media. USA Volleyball Junior Clubs are now required to implement an electronic communication policy. This policy must be reviewed with and agreed to by all athletes, parents, coaches, and other adults affiliated with the club. Whether one is an athlete, a coach, a board member, or parent, the guiding principle to always use in communication is to ask. Is the communication something that someone would find appropriate or acceptable in a face-to-face -face meeting? Is this something you would be comfortable saying out loud to the intended recipient of your communication in front of the intended recipient's parents, the coaching staff, the board members, or other athletes? I prefer that my parents, if I play bad, don't say anything. And if I play well, it doesn't really matter if they compliment me on how I play. I just like, I don't know, I prefer my parents to, I don't not talk as much. I can hear them like cheering me on and I'm like thinking in my head, just shut it, I'm trying to focus. My mom yells in Spanish. My like, go, go, go! My mom just says, use the backboard, you should use the backboard. I get angry because it, it annoys me. I'm kind of embarrassed. She tells me to get in the position that my coach told me not to get in. I'm like, well, no. And then she's like, get in your position. I'm like, no. I get a little tense when I have a certain score to get and she's like, you've got to get that whatever score. And I'm like, ah. I don't like it when uh, they try to push me even more, even though I'm trying really, really hard. Coming from the coach's mouth is kind of better, I feel like, because your parents are there to support you and your coach is there to help you, you know? You just start screaming, Valentina, run faster, make a basket. But, <laughs> but I just start going slower. Every time when she says that. The other people were like, wow, that mom is like really wanting her kid to win. In, in my inside, you can't see it, but I'm in, inside saying, be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. Sometimes I just look into space. I try to listen to them and then do what they say to like, so they don't start yelling again. I don't really want them to give me that much advice because then I might forget it all. Sometimes I get nervous when they yell and nobody else is yelling. Sometimes they can embarrass me, like a lot. Wait, 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 wait. What's going on? Um, <laughs> we're just trying to do this, but you want us to try harder? Well, I am. I'm not going into a game not trying my hardest. That'd be like messed up. Yeah, it's a lot of pressure. Sometimes when you try to get the ball in basketball, it it kind of, you kind of think in your head that they're kind of like gonna push you and you're gonna fall and hurt yourself. They don't need to like always be like telling me what to do like every minute of the game. They kind of just gotta let me play. I love when you say like really nice. I got it, mom. <laughs> I'd like to look back and I'd like to see you like smile or like give me a thumbs up. Mom, I wish you would be a little bit quieter. Say like you play good and like you probably, you couldn't get them next time. When they smile and say like good job. Mom and Dad, thank you for loving me. I love being my supporter. When I'm upset, my mom and dad cheer me up. Sometimes I forget about all the work that they do for me. Be my biggest fan. We need a lot of love. I want you to know I need big hugs. 
I love the snacks that you bring me. It makes me happy when you always encourage me. Thank you, Mom and Dad. Please just be my Mom and Dad. Yep, that's it.